Cool. All right, so here is the problem. You need to earn at least $120 per week working as both a manager at a grocery store and teaching music lessons. You earn $10 per hour at the store and $15 per hour teaching music. You are required to work at the grocery store at least eight hours a week, but do not want to work more than 20 hours total. This sounds like a student to me, somebody who's got other responsibilities. So let's make, let's make our let statements. X is going to equal hours at the grocery store. What does that leave our Y equaling? Hours teaching music? Yep. Hours teaching music. What is the total this person wants to make? At least 120 a week. And how much do they make at the store? $10. And 15 make for music. So we're going to have an inequality where we have 10x plus 15y. 15y. At least should be what? Eight, eight hours. At least, what's the symbol for oh. at least? Um, less than. At least is less than or equal to. greater than or equal to. This person would be happy to get more than 120 a week, right? But they have to make at least 120 a week. Yeah. That means they're okay if they make more. That makes sense then if this side shows more. Thumbs up if you see where that inequality comes from. Hours at the store times the money made, hours teaching music, times the money made, at least 120 is the goal, okay? How long is this person required to be at the store? Eight hours. Okay, so X is greater than or equal to, why am I saying greater than or equal to? Because we have at least again, eight hours. How is it going to be a third inequality for that? This person does not want to work more than 20 hours total. Okay. So x plus y <clears throat> cannot equal more than 20. What symbol should I put there? Um, less, than, no. less than or equal to. Less than or equal to. This is our system of inequalities. We have three inequalities. How does the wrap when that happens? The first is about the money, the second is about hours at the store, and the third is about hours total. And that takes care of all of the constraints in this. It's the busy guy. We need to then take and convert this inequality to a y equals, where y is greater than or equal to. I'm going to start off with 15y is greater than or equal to negative 10x plus 120. What did I do to make that happen? Subtracted 10x. I subtracted 10x. What's my next step? Divide by 15. I'm going to divide by 15. You get a fraction. I've already done this. Y is greater than or equal to two -thirds. negative two-thirds x plus eight. So, spicy. Spicy. This has to be converted to y equals, what should I move? 
the x, subtract x. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get y is less than or equal to negative x plus 20. And now we're going to graph it. So this is my y-axis, and this is my x-axis. X is the grocery store hours, right? What does that leave y being? Music teaching hours. And we're going to graph all three inequalities. I'm going to just circle these with my highlighter so they pop out of here. All three of these need to go on here. This one is the easiest one, isn't it? Yeah. X is greater than or equal to 8. Here's my 8. X is greater than or equal to means that it is a straight up and down line. And I'm shading to the, it's greater than, so do I shade to the right or to the left? To the right. Sorry, I should have said get supplies. I see people helping each other get supplies. You will need three colors because we're doing three different lines. Okay. Why does it go vertically? Because it's um, x equals um, x equals um, greater than eight. But isn't the eight supposed to be y? Uh, why is it? No, this is something that's just like. Ask me that after we finish the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to do this inequality next because it's got 20 as my y-intercept, so it means it's at the top. It's up here. And it's a negative x, so this is going down. By 1. Negative 1, so we're going to be like this, and we're going to end. Actually, I'm going to draw a line from the 20 to the 20 because if I'm going down by 1... We're gonna have three on there. We're gonna have three on here. Something has never been done before. Small step. This is less than or equal to. So I'm gonna do this. All three of these lines are solid because all of them are and or equal to. And this is less than or equal to, so we're shading below. These two are going to run into each other. Small step three. We're doing three at the same time. Small step for small step for human. Large man. step for people. Human. Survival and public skills. The last line we need to do is that y is greater than or equal to negative two thirds x plus eight. So I'm going to start at plus eight. And my slope is negative 2 over 3. So it's going to go down I'm using my arch 2 shoulder. and over 3. My arch, my arch Why that? I'm using my highlighter. You're weirdo. You're weirdo. <laughs> to make your graphing easier, when I looked at this slope, it goes from 8 on the y axis to 12 on the x. You want to be quick? And this one is greater than or equal to, so we get shaded up above. I don't have to recover. Dude, look at me. Here. What's racist? Everything. 
So the answer falls where all three colors do. Okay. I want to make a grab pad like a rainbow. Instead of a double shaded area, it's a triple shaded area. You're going to shade everything in yellow? You shaded everything in yellow. No, I shaded everything in both things. Hey. Here, use white. I already have three ones. <laughs> okay, so I want you guys to think back to when we were first doing problems, even before they were systems. You guys remember we had that problem um, about cheeseburgers and chicken burgers, and there was like how many combos could you get for whatever money it was? Yeah. This is kind of the same thing. Let's say that I go to 10, 4. That point is in the triple shaded region, yes? Yeah, I don't understand what the shade is. Okay, for the first one, Amar, yeah. we shaded to the right because it was greater than or equal to. For this upper line, we shaded less than or equal to. And this one is greater than or equal to. Okay, so I'm looking at point 10, 4. That means 10 hours at the grocery store and four hours teaching music. Does it work in all three of this, these inequalities? So if I do 10 times 10 plus 15 times 4, is that greater than or equal to 120? I'm running out of space, but it ends up being 160 is greater than or equal to 120. Where'd you get that other 10? That is one oh, So here I'm saying if I have $10 times 10 hours plus $15 times 4 hours, I'm going to make $160, which is greater than or equal to 120. Am I taking care of what the grocery store wants me to do and working at least eight hours? Yeah. Is 10 greater than or equal to eight? And that's true. So I've got two true statements here. I need to test the last one. I've got 10 plus four. Is that less than or equal to 20? And I get 14 is less than or equal to 20. So that's true. So this point does check out that being in this triple shaded area fits all of the constraints. I'm making as much money as I needed, I'm working at the store at least as much as they wanted, and I'm not working more than 20 hours. Where's the number? Oh, the, on the right. So then we're gonna use the graph for C and realize all of this is recorded. You guys can come back and catch up. Stay with me on the teaching part. C, use your graph to determine whether you can work eight hours at the grocery store and teach one hour of music. This is six, here's eight. One hour would be here. Does eight comma one work? No. 8 comma 1 is not in the, sh the triple shaded area. Well, because we asked 8 hours at the grocery store, 1 hour teaching music. 